Hey guys, this is the Canadian Baconer, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the latest and greatest in Star Wars Battlefront news. Basically, we got some brand new information relating to the new game mode in Star Wars Battlefront called Supremacy. Now, this Supremacy game mode is basically going to be the equivalent of something like Conquest from the Battlefield series. Now, this is not really surprising in my eyes, especially considering that DICE is pretty much taking part in the development of this game, so it would only make sense to have some, some kind of relating feature from Battlefield to Battlefront. And now this new game mode is basically going to work like Conquest like I did say before, but they've made a bit of tweaks to make it seem like it's going to be a lot better and a lot more revolutionary than the previous game mode. So basically, Supremacy is centered around five control points scattered across the map. The objective is to gain control of all five of these capture points, or the majority of them, before the 10 minute round is over. Each team starts out controlling two of the five capture points, initially trying to fight for that fifth one in the very center. After determining this, the control points need to be claimed in a set order. This means that the action will be taking place on two control points at the same time. So basically, let's say, uh, I don't know, there's a red and blue team. Let's say the blue team actually captures three out of the five capture points, right? So at that very time, it's basically like a rush game, kind of fused with Conquest in my opinion. So basically the way rush works is that there's an attacking team and a defending team. And in this sort of scenario, it seems like you're going to be attacking the enemy base as well as defending your own base. And I guess you have to kind of coordinate yourselves with your teammates to kind of push and actually take that center capture point and then continue to actually get all five of the capture points. And it seems like from here, as soon as the team actually goes ahead and captures all five capture points, that the round will actually end which is really really cool and apparently what's going on is that every time you capture a new point the round time will be reset so basically games could go on for i'm going to assume let's say an hour because i think that's as long as battlefield games are allowed to go unless you have a custom server obviously but basically this is really really cool and i'm very interested in to see how this is going to work out and we will also be able to use vehicles such as the you know starships and tie fighters and all that kind of stuff and heroes and villains are also going to be an option as well in the battlefield so as you guys are seeing in the screen screenshot here it looks like Darth Vader is actually commanding his troops to actually push forward in the battle and basically Darth Vader can take a little bit of extra damage compared to the other heroes slash villains so it looks like he's going to be at the front lines kind of commanding everybody and if he gets hit it's not really going to do much to him at all and uh, Luke Skywalker actually has a really good power where he can kind of jump around really quickly you know get a couple slashes in and in my opinion it's going to be a really cool dynamic to see in a game like this personally I'm very very excited to see how this is going to work and at the moment it is confirmed that we will be able to use characters such as Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and Boba Fett as playable heroes in the main multiplayer as of right now. I was afraid that they were going to make an exact copy of the previous Conquest game mode, but basically what they've done is just made it a lot better in my opinion. I feel like they've taken the best elements from Rush and Conquest to kind of to make the best of both worlds per se. My only issue with this though is that I enjoy the current Conquest game mode. We are constantly being thrown into the action and I'm really going to hope that this is going to be one of the better game modes in Star Wars Battlefront. I'm looking forward to some gameplay hopefully very shortly because this was actually released on August 13th and at the time that I'm recording this it's actually August 14th so I'm gonna hope that they do drop some new information or some gameplay or just a trailer very shortly but anyways if you guys have any questions about this feel free to leave some comments down below in the comment section feel free to give this video a like and pretty much hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed already as I will be covering all of the new battlefront news that will pop up in the future as always thank you guys for checking out this video and this has been the Canadian Baconer. Say crispy and I will see you in the next video peace